Good morning, friends. Happy Tuesday. Okay, so let's check some stuff off my list really quick because everybody's probably wondering. My dizziness is still there. It's not as bad. I mean, I'm still, my head doesn't feel like real tight and pressure and, and all that mess. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling good there. No headache, I'm good there. So yeah, what a great day. What a great way to start the Tuesday, honestly, because whew, I can't do with that dizziness and stuff. But anyway, happy Tuesday. Um, I am, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days away, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yeah, four days away from the progressive dinner, and I am headed to Target really quick. I really don't know why, but I am. Um, I do know why, and I don't know why. <laughs> okay, here's the dilemma I'm having. I need silverware, and I know I mentioned this the other day about silverware and stuff, and how... Like if I use like regular dinner plates, pretty dinner plates, because it's gonna be a dinner, um, I, can't, I don't feel like I can use plastic wear with my regular table setting. I just, to me, that's just like tacky. You have to have like the real table settings. So I am gonna go to Target and I'm gonna see if they have um, silverware, and I'm sure that they do. I've just never looked to see. Um, and to see if they have silverware. So basically what I'm gonna end up doing is just combining my silverware with that silverware, I think, um, unless I find it reasonable. Um, and then I actually wanna find um, one of those little churches that is in the, like the little dollar spot to put in my little vols. It's a, that little jar that I bought to put the Epsom salts in. So that's what I'm looking for as well. And if I cannot, oh, and I don't, I have 20 people coming and I only have 16 placemats because at first there was only 16 people coming or there's always been 16 people coming. Um, like there've always been 16 people coming to these, not 20. So we are at 20 and I don't have enough placemats for all of my settings, but I could actually pull out other Christmas placemats that I do have, you know, in the house, but they won't, they won't match. And so that's a problem. That's a problem with me. I want everything to be matchy matchy. That's why I'm kind of having a hard time with the whole mismatching of silverware. Um, so, I mean, I don't want to have to get uh, I mean, and that's a lot of dishes for me to have to wash, too. But I have all those pretty dishes that I want to use. Oh, what's, what do I do? <sighs> do I do paper plates? Do I do paper placemats and plasticware for all of the people to eat? Or do I make it, like, you know, nice and use all of my glassware? I want to use my glassware, dang it. I'm using my glassware, that's it. I made it my mind. I'm using my glassware because I can't, I can't not use it. So yeah, I'm using my glassware. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm glad I settled that one. Yay! It is such a foggy day and the temperature is actually supposed to be dropping the temperature is actually supposed to be dropping like this week, which I'm happy about because I want it to be cold. I want it to be cold enough where I can, you know, wear my cardigans and enjoy them and not like be blazing hot. I have the air on right now in the car and it's 56 degrees outside. It's chilly. I'm just saying. I like it to be chilly. I like it to be cold. Uh, so after Target, I actually have to go to Lowe's and I have to return um, water bottles. Um, I get those big, huge water bottles for our house. So I have to um, return those and get more. And then I have to go by and pick up Brian's meds because I forgot to do that yesterday because I wasn't feeling good. And then there was, oh, and then I have to pick up his dry cleaning, see if they fixed my bar. And then um, I have those clothes that are right here, but you see those clothes right there? I have to go take those to the thrift store. It's Brian kind of cleaned out his closet the other day and said, I don't need these anymore. I'm like, okay, so I'm taking them to the thrift store because they're good t-shirts for guys to wear. 
Um, so I gotta do that. And then when I get home, I think I'm gonna start pulling out my food <clears throat> that I have for Saturday. Because I know Brian and I are gonna be going to the grocery store tomorrow evening with our lists um, for all of the food that we are gonna need for Saturday. I wanna go tomorrow to get my turkey. That way I can have it thawing out in the refrigerator from tomorrow until, which I should probably get it today, quite honestly, and get it thawing out. Because um, I don't know if it's gonna be thawed out completely by Saturday. Oh my God, I'm so I'm like, I'm on a dilemma. I might call my mom and find out if it will be. Yeah, I'm gonna call my mom. I'll see you guys at Target. Ooh, I found some cutlery. Look at these, $9.99 for a 20 piece set. I love that. See, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. And all of these, perfect. Absolutely happy about that I found all these. Now to decide which ones I want. Hmm, I don't know. I think I'm gonna get these because these are just perfect. So 20 piece set, four salad forks, four dinner forks. So I need two of those though. Is this the same thing? Yep, this is this, oh no, no, they're not the same, they're different. So these two are the same though. So I could do those, those will work. Perfect. Hey guys, so I am back from running around and it's about noon. So I made it out and back by 12 o'clock, which is a great thing because the traffic out there is going to get brutal the closer we get to Christmas. So I always like to get out and get all of my stuff done before 12 o'clock because if I don't, then it's a nightmare out there. But I did not stop at my P.O. Box yesterday because I wasn't feeling very well, but I did stop off at my P.O. Box today and I picked up quite a few Christmas cards that I'm so excited about. So I think that I'm gonna sit down and go through all of these um, and I'm gonna film it. And then, um, yeah, then I'm gonna share that with you guys on a different video. And then I wanted to show you guys the stuff that I picked up. Again, this is all about progressive dinner week, progressive dinner preparation. So with that being said, um, I went ahead and picked up a few more things that I needed. Let me get the stuff out of the bags and um, organized and then I will get back with you guys in just a few minutes once I have everything out and organized. So stick around. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a few miscellany things that I picked up. Um, things that I need around the house and a couple of more things to put in my girl's gift basket. And um, yeah, so I'll just turn you guys around so I can show you guys what I picked up. Alrighty, so first things first, I went to the, do do the Target dollar spot. These cute little like wood shaped trees were in there. So I thought about using these for my table on Saturday, just to kind of sprinkle around, give it a little Christmas vibe. And I picked up some Christmas stickers for my Christmas cards that are gonna go out. And then I picked up this cute little church because this is what I was looking for to put inside of my um, little vase. And then I picked up some more L'Oreal Dry Spray. Um, this is the Herbal Essence shampoo that I have been using, absolutely loving it. I picked up this mug at Walmart because it was so dang cute. You guys know how much I love that truck with the tree. It's just my favorite thing right now for the holidays and it's just so cute. So I picked this up and I love the way that inside it says home for the holidays. So cute. And then um, I picked this up for the girls Christmas thing again, just throw in the box. I picked up two of these, which is a Sparkle Emergency Essentials Kit. This was at Target. I picked this up. It's got all of that nice stuff in there for emergencies. Sewing and thread, dental floss, clear nail polish, a nail file, um, ear backs, um, pins, hair ties, double-sided tape, and hair pins. So I thought that was just a really cute little gift you could just toss in your bag. So I got two of them because I will keep one and put it in my stocking. And then I picked up this little blanket at Walmart because it was like $4.98. So I'm going to throw this inside the girls' uh, little box as well. And then I picked up these shoes at Target because they are gold and they're like ballet slippers. 
So I wanted gold shoes anyway, so I bought those. Those are so cute. And then I picked up these, um, four of these like pinky looking stars to put on my tree in the back. And then um, I also picked up one more box of the red Pioneer Women dishes our Pioneer Woman dishes. Now I have three sets of these, so I'm perfectly good. And then I have, then this is a Merry Christmas to me. So Merry Christmas, Ange, you got the Instapot from Brian. Yay, Christmas. And then um, as far as, that's gonna, I'm gonna cook my, in that Instapot, I'm gonna cook my roast in that. So, um, and then as far as my uh, stuff for the progressive dinner goes, I picked up uh, four, I'm gonna turn you guys around again so you guys can see what I got. Um, okay, so I picked up four, um, well two sets of salt and pepper shakers. So I picked up salt and pepper shakers, I picked up four of those, um, because that way I can have, you know, one on end of the tables. So one table's gonna have this, one table's gonna have another one. And then I picked up a thermometer because I need to, check my turkey and stuff to make sure that it's cooked. I don't have one, I've never had one. It was probably a good thing that I got one, so um, I like that. And then I picked up um, some serving forks to put in the ham and the roast and the turkey. I actually have um, one already, so now I have three or four. And then I picked up two large slotted spoons, serving or pierced serve spoons for serving as well. If I need more after I think about it and get all my stuff out, I will go back and get a couple more. These are from uh, Walmart. And then I picked up four of these as well for servers, for like, you know, corn, mashed potatoes, all that good stuff. And I still, I have some here. I just wanted to make sure that I had plenty. Um, and then from Target, I did pick up the 20 piece set of uh, fork and knife. Um, spoons, you know, cutlery, so I'm happy about that. And then so I picked up two of those. So there's two of them right there. And then I picked up two of these foil um, roasters. Uh, this is obviously gonna be for my ham and my turkey, so I'm getting, I'm getting my stuff set. It's all coming together, it's all happening. So, um, which is great because I, yeah, I have to have all of this stuff together and, um, accounted for prior to, you know, the party on Saturday because I have to make sure that I have everything that I need. And I want it to be pretty. I want it to be, I mean, luxurious as much as luxurious can get, I suppose. But, um, I mean, I just want it to look nice. I want it to be pretty. I want it to be organized. I want it to be well put together. I want to make sure that, you know, my table settings are pretty. I want to make sure that silverware all matches. I want to make sure that there's, you know, enough salt and pepper on the tables for everybody. I want to make sure that there's serving spoons that match. It's, I just kind of want all of that. Um, so, yeah, that stuff kind of just makes me happy. Mm-hmm. It does. It just makes me really happy to have all that stuff, like, together. I want it to be together. So, um, I want to have it all together. So, or at least make it look like I have it all together. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So anyway, so yeah, that's that's that for now. Um, I'm excited to get all this stuff together and started. Oh, I forgot those other serving bowls Ugh, at Walmart. Dang it. Oh, well, I'm sure I'll have to go back for something. I think that tonight Brian and I are going to go to the store and get all the stuff that we need because I really, really, really need to get that turkey out and thawed out because if I don't, I'm afraid that it's not going to be completely thawed before we do our thing. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and probably go to the grocery store tonight. So, um, yeah. So, with that being said, I'm going to go now, get some stuff done around here. I will touch back with you, touch base back with you guys in a little bit. I think I'm going to try to get, I'm going to clean off this table for now. I'm going to get everything that I have for the progressive dinner set on the table here as far as like silverware i'm gonna go wash all my red plates that i just got because i need to have those all washed i need to get those out here and set up that way i have at least i know that i have 20 settings um this is kind of what i was talking about earlier about the fact that i don't have 20 placemats now i had bought placemats unless i have 20 of those i don't have to go count um when i was at at home weeks ago, I bought placemats, 
um, but they didn't have all matching ones. So that was a little annoying to me. So I'm gonna turn you guys around again. I'm gonna show you guys the placemats that I bought. This, these are a while ago. So I bought these placemats, which I thought were really cute because it's kind of got like the burlap and then the ivory. So I thought that was really pretty, but look, they only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They only had eight of these, so I bought all eight. Same with the ones underneath. They only had eight, so I thought I was just gonna go ahead and like mix and match, do every other one with the cute little burlap or whatever. And I thought, well, it's burlap and burlap, it'll look really, really cute. But I only have 16 of these. So I thought, well, I have 16 of these, and of course I have like eight or 10 of these in both colors, the red and the green. So I thought, well, <clears throat> here's 16, here's 17, 18, 19, and 20, um, which is so annoying to me because I kind of wanted everything to match, but it's like, if I spread them out, it kind of won't look bad. What do you think? Ugh, leave me a comment below, let me know, because I, I don't have any other choice. The only other choice that I have would be to just use white paper placemats. But again, going back to the whole paper factor, that's so cheesy. Um, yeah, so leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, or maybe I should do like four, four, and four. Or like four green, four red, four of the other ones that, yeah, four, 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 and four. That's still not enough. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, four, 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 four. Okay, six, six, two, four. I can do six, 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 and six. Six. Oh, I'm trying to think. So, <laughs> I gotta see how many of the red and the green that I have, but I'm just, I was just trying to keep it more like, um, farmhouse -y. that's why I was trying to use the burlap. Um, and then with that, also, I only had two of these Oh, that I can find. I might have to dig through my box again. I only have two of these striped um, nappies. So I was thinking about putting these napkins with the green placemats and then these two nappies with the red placemats. Um, I'm not sure. So um, we're gonna have to figure that out. And I just hate the fact that they're not all gonna match because I washed all of my napkins yesterday. And again, I only have the 16 napkins. So, um, yeah, that's a dilemma. Dilemma, dilemma, dilemma. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. I'll, I'm sure I'll get it all figured out and everything will come together in the end and it'll be really, really nice. So, um, yeah. So, I'm going to go for now and I will check back in with you guys a little bit later once I've, you know, kind of fig maybe figured some stuff out. Oh, another thing that I wanted to, to figure out was I don't have, obviously, I don't have 18, like, napkin holders where you can put you know pinch them together and hold them so throw me out some ideas on how to make really cutesy you know napkin rings napkin holders or how i should do this should I just lay them flat across the plate should i tie them up with a ribbon or with a um like the twine or whatever um yeah so start throwing some ideas out there i have till saturday uh yeah so throw some out there because I, I really need to know have some ideas on how to make it cutesy what i should do should i leave them flat should i um, and maybe like to, in tomorrow's video, I will do a demonstration on like the plates and ooh, yeah, it's a good idea. So in tomorrow, leave me a comment again, if you guys would like me to put like together a place setting and with that place setting, it's going to be how I set up the napkins. Do I leave them straight or do I tie them? So yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. Damn, that could be really fun. That could be fun, fun, fun. Alrighty. So I'm going to go, like I've said three times now, and I will check back in with you guys a little bit. So bye. Bye. Okay, so I've just kind of been working on a few little side things, uh, again, for the progressive dinner. Um, I wanted to show you guys, this is so cute. So the other day, I painted some of those mason jars. I had just went out and bought um, another little, little case of mason jars. And the ones that I could paint that I'm not, you know, that I don't care about, I don't care about ruining any of them because they're not, like, ruined. But, um, anyway, I bought a case of them. Um, and I kind of wanted to use them for the progressive dinner for some decoration or whatever to spruce up the table and so i painted a bunch of them 
So I painted like these ones white. I have three white ones, I have two red ones, and then like a gray one. And I was kind of like gonna put them like in the center and do like the gray one in the center and then put the, you know, red, white, gray, red, white, gray. But um, that's not how I'm like wanting to do it. But I went outside and we have all in our backyard is a bunch of fresh pine trees. And so I just went outside and I cut a piece of the pine tree back there and look what I did. <gasps> this is so pretty. I put the ribbon around here just a few minutes ago. I just cut it and I just tied it in a knot just to kind of give it a cute little like country vibe I think and then I just put some of the greenery in there from the tree outside this is kind of what I'm going for I'm kind of wanting that like fresh um woodsy look so I think this would be really really cute too as part of a centerpiece on the table for Saturday I don't know what do you guys think how cute is that I love it I love the way it turned out so if I put like you know one here one here one here you know throughout the table and then maybe like a tea light um so you know with the little tea lights in the center um something like that um i also have a couple of other big trees that i want to put on there i haven't really decided yet how i'm going to do it but this i think looks so pretty and i think it turned out so nice and it's fresh and that's what's so nice about it um i am kind of a little concerned about maybe bugs but um i don't think there would be bugs in there what do you guys think i don't know um, but no, I just think it looks so pretty. I think that turned out so lovely. And I love the freshness of it. I like that it's fresh. It's fresh and it's kind of semi-piney. It's really not smelling very piney right now, but I like it. Ooh, it's so pretty. So like, look how cute that looks. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Look how cute it looks. Like if I put it up there, where the, like here's the other candles and there's candle. Yeah, look how cute. That looks so nice. I love it. Maybe a little fresher, maybe a little more sprucier. Yes. Okay, oh my gosh, it looks really cute. What do you guys think? That's adorable. I think it's adorable. Okay, so I'm gonna be cutting a bunch of those. I don't know how long they're gonna last if I cut them like right now. So maybe I'll wait and I'll cut them Saturday. That way they're really, really fresh. I think that's a better idea. Yes. That is so lovely. I think it's gonna be pretty. Okay, so like I said, I'm just coming up with some things. I put one box of my red dishes inside of the dishwasher. I've taken out the silverware that I bought. Um, and I already put one box in the dishwasher to wash. And then these ones are gonna go in next because I didn't have any room for all these. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these in there as well to get those washed up for the salt and pepper shakers. I didn't have enough room for my bowls, so I went ahead and washed the bowls myself. I cleaned out the refrigerator, so now I've gotta put um, this stuff in the dishwasher next or wash it by hand if it doesn't fit. Um, yeah, so coming along with all of my stuff, so it's coming along really, really well. Yes, 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 I'm excited. I'm gonna go put this in the pantry though really quick because I don't need these out. And I think what I'm gonna end up doing in my pantry is I'm gonna need to put another shelf in here. <laughs> go figure. So I'm thinking about putting like a shelf up here, another shelf up here, because I need a place to store my plates because I have three sets of the red and three sets of the ivories and I'm going to need a place to store all of those. So, yeah, I'm going to need another shelf. Brian's going to hate me, but that's just going to be what it is. It is what it's going to be. So that is so cute. I'm so happy about the fresh pine. So I'll know on Saturday that I can go back there and pick a bunch. And uh, yeah, so things are coming along really well. I'm happy about that. So, yes. Check with you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, hey guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for the little bit that you did. If you enjoyed it, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I would like to know if you guys would be interested in me sharing my, um, let's see, what, what would I call it? I would call it the girl's Christmas box or girl's, Christmas gift exchange. Um, yeah, let's call it a Christmas, girls Christmas gift exchange. So Friday night we have a girls Christmas night 
in in our hood and so we exchanged gifts with a few of the girls in our subdivision not a few we exchanged gifts with the girls in our subdivision we didn't draw names we just have to bring a gift and then we're going to put numbers on there and then the person's going to draw the number and whoever draws that number gets that box or gets that gift so i was just curious to know if you guys wanted me to share with you guys everything that i have inside of my um gift box that i'm going to be giving the girl on friday night so if that's something that you guys would be interested in seeing let me know um and i'll do a separate video of that uh that way and then i could post it afterwards just in case any of the girls watch it here um they won't see what it is and they won't be able to go oh i'm gonna wait for that box <laughs> But um, anyway, so yeah, I was just curious to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment below if that's something you're interested in. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Disney Wonderland. Bye. It's that time of the year you've been told. Something magic that never